welcome to Sip No Tech. I'm Alex and this is Lita. Hello. What are we doing here today, Lita? We are opening up some pretty big boxes. Pretty big boxes. And before we get too deep into it, uh, we were sent these two boxes from Google. Mm -hmm. From Google. This is the first time we've ever received anything from any of the big major players in the super, cell phone space. Super, super excited. Yeah, so uh, for those of you who don't know, hashtag Team Pixel. Uh, these are units sent to us by Google. Uh, no contracts, nothing. They're not gonna watch this video before we release it or anything like that. Uh, so for disclosure, they're not. We're not getting paid for this. Uh, but these are basically review units for us, and, and we get to keep them. Uh, it's the first time Google's ever sent this to us, or any of the big players has any ever sent us something like this, right? Exactly. Exactly. And uh, so we just really want to thank you guys. Thank you guys, because this is a huge validation for Sipno Tech. You know, we've been doing this for a couple years now. It's really meant a lot. You know, we started the channel from the ground up, not knowing what to expect, not knowing what was going to happen. And, and we're so grateful and so appreciative for all the love and support. Yeah, we, we've we been uh, purchasing all our devices. Mm -hmm. And here and there, we would get companies sending us things, but never to this. This is a flagship Android phone, and we finally got onto a press list, uh, a review list. And uh, it's all thanks to you guys, all your support, whether you're a new viewer or old viewer, mm -hmm. um, you, you really helped us validate this channel. This really was a validating step. Uh, yeah, and we're so grateful that you guys are on this journey with us. Yeah, credibility-wise, this is this is absolutely yeah. huge for us, and uh, we really appreciate your continued support. Uh, so enough of that. Uh, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna open these two boxes sent from Google. When you buy the Pixel 3 or the Pixel 3 XL, it's not gonna look like this. No. I'm sorry, it's not gonna look like this. <laughs> it's actually gonna look like something else. And uh, we actually did purchase the Pixel 3 uh, ourselves, because yep. that's Lita's flagship phone. She uses it every single year from the 1, 2 to the 3. Yep. Uh, so we actually have a retail version of what it will look like. We're going to unbox that on IGTV as well. So after watching this video, go on to our IGTV. It's Sip No Tech. Um, and yeah, we're posting a lot behind the scenes. Yep. Um, a We've lot got stories. We've got all sorts of posts. Yeah, a lot of photos, yeah. a lot of uh, just test photos using cameras of whatever phone we're using. So we have a lot of stuff that we can't cover on the channel. We're gonna have dozens of videos, so we're doing it on Instagram, so uh, be sure to check that out. Uh, so this video, we will be unboxing these two. Check out IGTV for that. Okay, Lita, so where do you wanna start? This or this? We got a pink one and we got a white one. I'm just gonna go on a limb and say this is the not pink. Ooh. And this is the, uh, what was the white color called? The black one was just black, but the white one it's clearly white, I clearly think, or something white. like that. You were just telling me before we start filming. I know. I think you already <laughs> it is forgot. clearly white. Yeah, I think it's clearly yeah, white. Yeah, it's clearly too. white. Uh, but yeah, we're, we are going to unbox these. So uh, let's let's start with the left one. Why don't, why don't you do the honors? Lift the tab. Up. All right, here we go. All right, drum roll. Ah! All right, so we open the box. What's inside, Lita? We've got a lot of stuff in here. It's inside box number one. All right. First off, we've got our Team Pixel user guide right here. Very exciting. We'll flip through this later. We've got our another Team Pixel flyer in here. Google Pixel 3 is here, designed to make every day more extraordinary. Cool little postcard. Oh, and we have the Google Pixel 3 XL. In the pink color. That's yes. not pink. So not this pink. is the, the new pink color. We uh, haven't seen one like this on a Pixel line. They got rid of blue, yeah. which uh, we really normally, like the yeah, the Gen 1 one, yeah. we love the blue color. So yeah, we'll put this in the back. Or we'll and put that right here. Now. Yep. We also got a Google case right here. Very nice. Very nice. Move this to the side. Ooh. We've got a BKR bottle right here. BKR. These are nice. Um, I've had one of these before and I really like it. It's glass inside. Really, really fun. I like it. It's a fancy bottle. Yeah. Oh, it's hefty. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got a good weight to it. Ooh, we also have a wallet. Ooh, it's got a lot of pockets. Brands on cards. the back. This is a Shinola. Wow. This is nice. It feels really nice too. Yeah. 
Very cool, very cool. We've also got a Team Pixel fanny bag right here. Super excited. I really like my fanny packs too, so yeah. I'm gonna be wearing this one. Well, you one can around. be wearing this when you're taking photos. I will be. And then we also got the new Google Pixel stand as well. Yeah, this is retail like 90 something dollars. So uh, cool. that's the new that's the new thing. A lot of people have been talking about this Pixel stand. It's basically a Qi charging stand. Mm -hmm. We'll take a look at it too. Uh, but it's a $90 yeah. one. Wow, this is amazing. This is such, so cool. cool. So that's one box. Let's go through the other one. All right. Let's lift the tab. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Okay, so. Um, one thing we did notice is that one seems to be color coded, right? Color, you know, close to the same colors, yes. right? Like they have the pink water bottle and the pink passport you mean holder. Just pink. Just pink. Not not pink. Not pink. It's not pink. Not pink. So uh, this one we do also have a fanny pack. It's the same fanny pack. Hashtag Team Pixel. Different colors. Oh oh, different yeah, colors. Different Sorry. Colors. One's black. One's gray. And one has the pink. Shadow oh yeah, too. blue outline. What am I yeah. thinking? I'm what not, are you I'm, thinking? I'm just too excited. We're just I'm not, too excited. Yeah, not really paying attention. <laughs> um, so hashtag Team Pixel, exciting news. Google Pixel 3 is here designed to make every day more extraordinary. So this is a little cart that they gave us uh, talking about the Pixel and welcoming us to hashtag Team Pixel. So very cool stuff. Uh, I think this is the same case, except this is for the Pixel uh, 3 actually. This is also a Pixel 3 XL. So they sent us two Pixel 3 XLs. Fortunately for you guys, we actually purchased a Pixel. So we also have <laughs> a regular Pixel. I, I assume that they sent us, since we got two boxes, that one was an XL and one was a uh, regular. Regular. But uh, it looks like we have two Pixel 3 XLs. Very so this, cool. Yeah, very, very cool. But like once again, we're gonna unbox the regular Pixel 3 on our Instagram, IGTV. So we will have basically all the Google phones. It's a Google extravaganza. Account. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this one is in the white color, clearly white. Yeah, clearly white. Uh, I really like that little green button, which we're gonna show. And then we got a uh, Pixel 3 XL case, same as that, same Pixel stand. Very nice. So we got two Pixel stands. And once again, this. Cool. So uh, no water bottle, no uh, passport here, but pretty cool nonetheless. We got some really cool stuff from Google. And ta-da! <laughs> Underneath the box, we actually, uh, this is the Pixel 3. This is uh, pretty much what was holding up our Team Pixel yeah. boxes up. Yeah, so this is the regular size Pixel 3. Uh, we're gonna show you guys the box, what the retail packaging looks like. It basically looks the same, but IGTV, check that out. Okay, now that we did one unboxing, it's time to do more unboxings. Yay! Uh, individual unboxings, of course. We could put the fanny packs aside because there's nothing inside. Um, let's see. So, let's just double check. Nothing inside. I like how it has a back pocket, too. A back pocket for your keys and stuff. So when you're jogging and you're taking that pixel out for photos, uh, you can store your charger and stuff like that in here. So let's put this to the side. First thing we should open up, let's check out these cases. Um... You just pull it out, I think, right? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so we got different designs already for the cases. Wow. This is the uh, the my cases from Google. Uh, oh. Wow. Okay, so this one is Heather Day Google Pixel 3 XL my case. Wow. Uh, nice paintbrush style. Very nice. Uh, is this one also from? Yes, it is Heather yeah, Day so as Yeah, so two Heather yeah. Day ones. Uh, these are the art style very ones. Very cool, very cool. And they've got a really nice smooth finish to them too. Only thing that unfortunately covers up is the color. So the power the power uh, button has colors on it. Like this one has this really cool mint green, covers it up with the my case. But we're gonna pop these on. These are really nice cases. Very nice. Um, we have had Pixel cases. We have. Yeah, from Google. Yeah. Google Pixel cases every single year for every generation. So uh, really cool. All right, uh, next thing we're gonna open up is, we'll open one of these up, because mm -hmm. uh, it's the same thing. So we'll put this one aside. Had to. Grabbed a little <laughs> blade here to cut up. So um, the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL has wireless charging. We haven't seen that on a Google phone since the Nexus 6. Yep. So uh, it's been quite a long time. None of the Pixels have had that. Uh, Nexus, once again, was the last one to have that. So this is a 
big return for Google. A lot of us have been asking for it. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you open this? From the bottom? Okay, you grab the bottom. Okay, okay. Yeah, you got the top okay. and I'll pull the bottom. Right, you grab the top. Got it. You, or you grab the, the bottom okay. and I'll pull the top. There we <laughs> wow. go. Wow. That was a quick one. Very nice. So yeah, yes. that, that's a very interesting looking stand. Uh, this thing is being sold on the Google store cool. and oh, look at the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's like, got a nice coral color to yeah. it too. Very cool. So that is the Pixel stand. Nice kind of like matte material here, yeah. white. Uh, I do wonder if this will get dirty relatively quickly though. So, oh, it's pretty hefty too. I'll set that right there. I like the white, I think it looks really nice. I like the white color too, but yeah. you know, white gets dirty really quickly. That's the problem with white. All right, so in these boxes, or in this box, I should say, we've got here, looks like our start guide, along with the manual in here for the charger. And then we have our charging brick and also the cable. Yeah, so the charging brick and the cable. The cable is, uh, USB is a USB, USB-C to USB-C. So this charging brick is a USB-C one. So it's not a C to A. Um, and the USB-C goes in here. So let's uh, pull this off and try it out. So the USB-C cable goes in here. We just plug it in like that. And there's a little uh, little section like a little here slot. for you to go through. That's and you a can nice set design. It, set it in flat like that. It's a very cool design. Uh, so you can put that on your nightstand, et cetera, and plug it in and it's a wireless uh, Qi charger. So we'll set that aside. We'll put all, of, we'll put our pixels on here to try it out. Uh, so why don't we open them together here? Yes. Um, here, Lita, we'll switch spaces. Oh, switch sides? Yep. Oh, okay. Why don't you cut that open and get that going? Ooh. All right. So we'll just slice them both and then uh, open them together. So while she's doing that, we'll uh, go over some specs really quick. Both, I think they sent us the same models, right? Uh, they have a 6.3 inch screen. This one does not actually tell you um, the storage on here. Uh, so we will have to double check that once we open them up. Why don't you cut this one too? Take that one. Oh, it does. It's 64, 64 gigabytes, yeah. right? I totally glossed through. So this is a 64 gigabyte model. You don't even need the slicer for this. It's got like a little tab that you can actually just oh, open see? it. Yep, I should have paid more attention. This is Worst so unboxer ever. Designed. Okay, so you just pull the tab and we're good. So yeah. now let's actually open these up. Ooh. There we go. There is the phone. This is the white one, very clean white looking color. This is the pink. All right, let's lift this up. Get that out of the way. That's the Pixel 3 XL. We surprisingly, or not surprisingly, have not had the XL before in any Pixel line. Um, wow. wow, Stormtrooper color. This reminds me of, <laughs> it's like a Stormtrooper oh, there. I love the coral power button. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, I like the accented color power right button. Here. So we got different colors on the power buttons. Uh, volume rockers are also clicky, yeah, but sorry. once you put on the um, official Google um, Google my case. case, the my case, yeah. it covers it. But these are really nice cases. By oh the way, wow! So. The back is really nice. So the, here we go. Here's the case on it. Once again, it covers the accented power button, which is unfortunate. But uh, once again, this is a very very nice case indeed. Uh, okay, so this does have the Snapdragon 845, I have the case on. <laughs> this does have the Snapdragon 845 processor in here. So this is a flagship device. We don't have like that in-between flagship processor like in previous generations. Actually, Google hasn't done that in a while. They've stuck with that year's flagship. Um, let's see, what else is in the box? We, can only, we only need to check one of them. Uh, we got a bunch of paperwork. We got a semi-ejector tool. All the different guide. languages for the startup guide. Ooh, we've got some Team Pixel stickers. Stickers. I don't remember seeing stickers last year. I don't remember either. Well, well, we got we'll stickers see, yeah. here and then a warranty. And then in here, this I'm kind of excited about. Uh, we lift it and we got something that we definitely did not have last year. I'm, I'm actually super excited about this. These are the new Pixel Buds. Yes. The wired USB-C yes. Pixel Buds. Yes. Um, so Google Assistant, everything we liked about the wireless one except this one's wired. So great that they included mm -hmm. it. I, I'm very, uh, you can also buy this for $30 additional um, on um, Google's website. So 
the Google Store sells these individually. And then we have our charging cable. USB-C. To USB-C. So USB yeah. to USB-C, uh, I know not everybody likes that. I actually prefer USB-C mm -hmm. to A, but USB-C to USB-C, and I assume the charging brick will also be, yep. It's a type, USB -C. type C um, charging brick. And they do give you some adapters. So we have um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And we also have a USB, USB-C to USB-A dongle. So cool, that is everything in the box. We'll set this back aside and we will take a look at the phone in depth. All right, so here we have the Google Pixel 3 XL in not pink. Not pink, not but pink. it is totally pink. The XL is 6.3 inches. Mm -hmm. It's got a 12 megapixel camera right here. A single camera too. A single camera. Let me add, sorry for interrupting. No. Go ahead. We are at a point where there's f phones with five cameras, four cameras, three cameras. Those are the norm. This has one camera. One. And I've already seen some reviews saying that this is still the best camera on the market, right? One camera, a lot of software stuff. We're gonna we're gonna do a lot of videos a about lot. this for a sure. Lot. Yeah. A lot. And two cameras in the front though. Two cameras in the front. Two cameras in the front. Yep. Uh, we also have four gigabytes of RAM in here, and the Pixel 3 XL runs a Snapdragon 845. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And there's also a 3430 milliamp battery. Mm -hmm. I really like the way that it feels. Um, it's got a good amount of weight to it, but if you were to compare the back to my Pixel 2. It's different material. It's different. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, well, now there's a lot more glass because of the wireless Qi charging ability here. There we go. So uh, as you can see, it's on the Qi charger, so the back needs to be glass. So that's why it feels pretty different compared it to the really Pixel 2. It feels really different, yeah. yeah. Uh, the SIM tray also got moved to the bottom. I noticed that too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Very cool, very cool. Why don't we boot one on? Ooh. All right, Lita, now that we have the phone all set up and ready to go, uh, why don't we take a look at the software? What, what software are we running on the Pixel 3 XL? The Pixel 3 XL is running Android 9, which is Pi. Android Pi. And uh, from the looks of it, it kind of just looks like we are running what we're accustomed to with the Pixel Launcher. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've had this Pixel Launcher on the Essential Phone. You've had it on the um, Pixel, 2. Pixel 2. So yep. if you've updated your phone to Android 9, you're kind of accustomed to what the Pixel 3 will look like. It'll stock be a Android. very smooth transition. Right. Yeah. Uh, so software-wise, I don't really see anything different. You got the swipe up for the recent apps down mm -hmm. and the loss of the recent app on the back here. Uh, if you move it up a little bit, there we go. So no recent apps anymore. We covered this in other videos, so yep. be sure to check those out with the uh, Android Pie update. But as you can see on the home menu, you don't have the back button. It only comes up when you need it. Mm -hmm. And you swipe, swipe up, up, you get the recent apps. And uh, if you I'll... swipe up again, you've got the app drawer. Yep, and a lot of people didn't like this change. Uh, I personally like it. I've gotten used to it. I was a little thrown off at first, but I feel like I've gotten used to it since then, and, and it's easy. Mm -hmm. The gesture yeah. base yep. stuff. Uh, what's the other thing you're telling me off camera about this phone that drastically affected your view of how it looks? The notch. The notch. <laughs> so yeah, if you turn the phone a little bit more to the camera, there we, there we go. go, there's the notch. When I powered it on, this was the first thing I noticed, and I, I've heard a few complaints from others about the notch, but to be honest, I feel as though it's kind of necessary because we've got two cameras going on up here. And also, it's dual front-facing speakers. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds like we're giving an excuse. Um, a lot of people don't like notches. I personally, for all the phones that we've reviewed so far this year and also last year, I have never really looked at the notch in a negative way. I've never said that it's a negative for me. I never dropped a grade from a phone because of the notch. It doesn't really bother me. If it has a function, uh, I'm okay with it. I, I actually prefer using more of the screen. Of course, they could have done a better job like the Mi Mix, Mi Mix 3, mm -hmm. where they actually can use the whole screen. Yeah. They actually design it and, and, and use it like that. But uh, I'm, I'm okay with this, to be honest. I don't think it's that bad. It is a little thick, though. Especially on the camera, it looks a lot thicker. It's a little bit noticeable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, this does have dual front-facing speakers. Uh, why don't I'm we... pull up a video. Yeah, pull up a video or something. So audio is coming from both of these speakers, these both front-facing speakers. Yeah. 
Sound bars have taken a bit of the home entertainment yep. market share in recent years. And, and you were result, saying off screen that um, the, the audio is, is pretty loud. It's pretty loud. It's pretty solid. Yeah. Oh, pretty good audio. Yeah. What's what, what would be the reason to upgrade to this if you already have something that's stock Android, something with the with the Android Pie? Probably one of my favorite reasons for having the Pixel Two, which is the camera. The camera. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the camera is what Google is touting this year as as a big reason why you would want to upgrade. Uh, and we we talked about this when we we're opening the box. It has one camera. It only has one camera on here. Whereas other phones have at least two cameras mm -hmm. in 2018. At so, least. Uh, and we, we kind of played with this um, while we're setting it up. It is pretty amazing what this camera can do with only one camera. That's crazy. And this is all software induced. And this year, Google added some additional things that uh, kind of make this even a better camera, something called Top Shot. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, it's, it's like AI ability where it could choose the best shots for you. Um, and there's the new AR features yeah. that they kind of changed. It's no longer Google AR or whatever they called it before. Now they it's have called Google Playground. It's called Playground. Yeah. So uh, we we checked out like the Stormtrooper thing last year, which is pretty cool. Or was it last year? It was actually. I don't think it was even last year. It was just a few months when, ago. When right? the when the Star Wars movie came oh, out. Oh yeah, that was like the end of last year. What was it? Last year's last. Um, the Last Jedi, or was it the one before that? But anyway, one of the Star Wars movies, they had the uh, the AR stickers. We, we played with it. It's pretty neat. Let's can we go to the selfie? Um, There's only portrait camera. Selfie. Anymore. You flip it to the oh gosh. Camera. I I know you don't really use uh, smartphones too often, um, but I you know I mean Lita doesn't use a selfie camera. She just turns the phone no, backwards I don't. and takes the photos. But uh, yeah, uh, so we've we've seen the the ultra wide selfie modes the ultra wide selfie cameras before uh samsung is very notorious for doing it lg does it really well too uh this year on stock android on the pixel camera they also included it so there we go that was the unboxing of the pixel 3 xl reviewers edition so thank you once again to google for sending us this box we mm -hmm. never unbox a, a box like this, a reviewer's no. box with all the goodies in there. That's the first time. It was a little bit longer of an unboxing video than we usually do, but this was a special one. Uh, but just because we got phones from Google, review units from Google, doesn't mean we're going to change. We're still going to stick with our guns. We're going to tell you exactly as it is, our experiences straight down the line, whether it's popular or unpopular opinion, we're going to tell you it as it is. Honest reviews. So what are we going to do with the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL? Well, I'm going to be reviewing the Pixel 3 XL. So yeah, Lita will be reviewing the Pixel 3 XL and basically anything Google sent us, she will be reviewing it. And I'm going to be reviewing the Pixel 3, which once again, go to Instagram TV after this. We're going to be unboxing that. We purchased that with our own money. Yep. So I will be reviewing that. The leader will be reviewing the ones with uh, the everything team Google. Google. Yeah, yeah, the Google stuff that you just saw here in this video. So everything you're going to see is unbiased, straight to you, straightforward, our opinions. Google does not want us to do so otherwise. So. And we will be sharing everything on all of our outlets. So be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter and Instagram as well. And uh, that will wrap it up for us here. Um, after we sign off, once again, go to Instagram TV. We're unboxing. You're going to see more of us right now. We're going to unbox that Pixel 3 immediately. We'll see you guys next time. Or soon, I should say. Soon. Bye. Turn over right now.